Hey everyone, here's a question from square and square root. Show that 2025 is a perfect square. Also find the number whose square is a given number. So first we have to show that this 2025 is a perfect square. And later we have to find out whose square it is. That is we have to find out the square root of this number. To do this I'm going to use a prime factorization method. Now this method is very simple. We have all learned how to prime factorize in your lower classes. And remember you should take only prime numbers when you're factorizing it. So the number is 2025. I'm going to start this with a 3 because 2 is an even number. It cannot divide this number. So next prime number is 3. So let's start with this. 20 I'm going to take because 3 cannot divide 2. So I'm going to take 20 together. So 3, 6 are 18. 2 is a remainder. I'm going to write this along with 2. That makes the number 22. And 3 sevens are 21 that makes a remainder 1. I'm going to write this along with 5 that makes a number 15 and then 3 5 is a 15. So this is a short way of what I'm doing here. You can divide the number separate like on uh, in rough side you can write the answer or else if you understood what I'm doing here I'm just writing the remainder with the next number and combining it and dividing, and dividing it as usual. So this is an easy method and fastest method instead of dividing and writing down. If you have your own method follow that you're going to get the same answer. Okay, so we got 675. This number again goes in 3. So 3, 2 is a 6. We have 7. So 3, 2 is a 6 once again. So 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. Now we got 225. This again goes in 3. 3, 7 is a 21. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. We got 75. This again goes in 3. 3, uh, 2 is a 6. 1 is a remainder. That makes a number 15. And 3, 5 is a 15. We got 25. So 25 doesn't go in 3. So next prime number is 5. So 5, 5 is a 25. And 5, 1 is a 5. So we have done this. So let's write down this number once again. So 2025 is equal to, write down all the factors what you got. It's 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. Now if the number is perfect square, the factors what you got here, they will always be in a pair. Now you can see this is forming a one pair, this is forming a one pair, and this is forming a one pair. You will not see any factor which is single, or which is not in pair. So 3 is forming a pair, this 3 is forming a pair, and this is forming a pair here. Which means that 2025 is a perfect square. Now how to find out square root? When you find out the square root of the number or the square of uh, which number it is, what you should do is from each pair you take one one factor and multiply it. So from here I'm going to take 3, from here I'm going to take another 3 and from next I'm going to take one 5. Now multiply it. So 3 3 is a 9 and 9 5 is, a, is 45. 45. So 45 square is 2025 or square root of 2025 is 45. So this was a simple question. You just use a prime factorization method and you'll get the answer. In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.